all right welcome to another AIC off-road video so if anybody saw my last video uh, my last trail run video you'll know that uh, I popped my tire right there hit a rock and just sliced the side of the sidewall right open I've had these tires for quite a while and I've really enjoyed them I feel like they've done really well off-road but obviously you don't have a very strong sidewall they're just a normal AT tire and I think the biggest reason why I hit the rock is because I have these new wheels which caused the wheels to stick out further and I thought I was further over than I was but anyways so this is the front passenger side tire this is the one I popped this is the front driver side tire and I took it off because I'm going to have to replace both of these unfortunately they don't make this particular tire anymore and normally because of the tread light the tread on is still pretty so good i just get another one but i can't so i'm gonna have to replace both of these tires and this is my spare and it's actually a it's a it's a, supposedly the same size 31 10 and a half r15 but it's actually physically smaller um Part of that's because the tread is a bit more worn out, but overall I measured it and it's almost uh, a full inch smaller in diameter. Uh, and I don't know, I took all the tires off because I thought there was a problem with my um, alignment because driving home, it was all sorts of screwy. And I don't know, I'm going to have to put two of the same size tires on because because it's such a different size it wasn't um, it wasn't matching up quite right and so I was trying to, to figure out the alignment on it and I couldn't get it figured out because of the the tire size difference so um, I need to get uh, the same size tire on there I also need to do some other things to it like I need to reseal the front diff it's leaking pretty bad it's gotten worse since the trip um, I also lift up because I thought my four-wheel drive wasn't working. I'm going to be dropping it back down here in the back as soon as I'm done with the video. Um, but I lift at both ends because the four-wheel drive didn't seem like it was engaging when I was off-road. But it is engaging. I tried it just now and engaged just fine. But I also hit this tire, but I didn't pop it. You can see I hit there on it. Um... So I'm trying to think, should I replace just two tires or should I get all four tires and just sell the three tires to supplement the cost of the four. Um, if I got three tires, or excuse me, if I got four tires, would I go up in size two? Will I go up to a 33? Or possibly like a 32 and a half metric tire I'm not quite sure so if you have an opinion on that have any thoughts I'd appreciate them haven't made a final decision yet all this uh, red here this is for the juice from the prickly pear bushes the fruit was on very heavy it's very good if you've ever had prickly pear fruit um, it's good prickly pear jelly is really good so anyways so this is just a quick update. I really don't know what I'm going to be doing at this point, but thing number one is going to be getting some new tires. So if you watch this, you have a suggestion next few weeks from when this is new, let me know um, if you think I should get just two new tires of the same size, which obviously is the most cost effective thing to do, or if I should get four new tires of the current size, or if I should bump up to a 33 inch tire and if you have any tire suggestions um i really like my hercules tires like i said they've worn really well i think they've got given me great traction so i'm kind of leaning towards a set of hercules again because they're really inexpensive 450 dollars installed was my install price on these so yeah again if you have any suggestions let me know um if you want to support me i have my amazon link in the description um, which of course I do appreciate that 
Uh, anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day.